gentlemen, boys and girls. Today's the 23rd of December, and I gotta work today. So I'm headed into work right now. It is super foggy, um, but tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I've got all the presents bought. We've got some stuff to wrap, and tomorrow I've gotta make um, my grandmother's gift, because I always make hers and my mom's. I always make them like treats and stuff, so. That's what's going to be on the agenda for tomorrow. Uh, we got to go to my grandmother's tomorrow night for Christmas Eve to exchange gifts and have dinner and stuff like that. But hey, let's get to work. Actually, let me show you this fog. Look how thick this fog is. There's a river over there. You can't see it. So, almost to work. Going to be there till about 9 p.m. Should be fun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this tire station in Callahan, they have a Christmas tree made of tires and a snowman. How cool is that? That's pretty nifty. Just thought I'd show that to you. So every year for Christmas, instead of buying my grandmother stuff, I always make her something. So right now I'm working on making her toffee, which is a cup of butter, a quarter cup of water, and a cup of sugar. And you stir it, get it to a boil, and continually stir it for about 13 minutes. Or if you have a candy thermometer until it reaches 300. If you don't have a candy thermometer, get it to um, let it go for about 13 minutes. And then you should be able to scoop some up, drop it into a cup of cold water, and it'll instantly harden and then it's basically snappable um, and that's when you know the toffee will be done that's what I'm making this toffee and then I'll coat it in chocolate so this is one of the things I'm working on uh, Kristen is coating um, some Oreo cookies in white chocolate and now she's making she's also making little um, candy molds of this like dinosaur and heart shaped molds that I got so and then I'll show you one other thing I got done so please ignore my dirty stove. That's what it's gonna start to do. Uh, you just, you gotta keep stirring it. So I got my candy thermometer in there. Um, this'll turn like a brown, like an almond brown color um, before, it, uh, before it's time to pour it, so. See how it's starting to take on like a slightly nutty brown color? It just means we're almost there. Just gotta keep going, another few more minutes. Within just a few seconds, it turns this nice golden brown color, and it's about ready to pour. Are you ready? No. Action. <laughs> Dork. <laughs> All right, so last time I made the toffee uh, for my grandmother's Christmas gifts, I'm going to show you what it should look like now. So, um, that's it. Basically, once the toffee hit the... Um, wax paper I put milk chocolate morsels on top of it and let them melt a little and then I just spreaded it so now I'm just basically bust this up and if you did it right this should crack and snap like candy so let's get proper leverage Ugh. Stuck to this paper. Worst wax paper ever. Yeah, it is. Okay. This one's off. <laughs> Alright, so see how it's like brittle looking? So it's toffee on the bottom and chocolate on the top. It's kind of like a Heath bar. So that's basically, this is part of her gift, and then it just kind of snaps. Um, I'm going to peel this off the wax paper next. Uh, the other thing we did was we dipped um, Oreos just in white chocolate, like uh, it's quick candy melt. And then the other thing I did was I took Ritz peanut butter crackers, put peanut butter between them. I said Ritz peanut butter crackers. Yep. Ritz crackers and put peanut butter between them and then I just dipped those in chocolate. So she's got cookies and then kind of like a homemade nutter butter, but it's got salt in it. I also put salt on top of the toffee before I put the chocolate on. And then the last thing we made her uh, is peppermint bark. This is just chocolate, and then you can kind of see the uh, peppermint. So. Okay. And 
so basically that's going to give her like peppermint chocolate and then it just it'll break apart so i'll break this into chunks and we'll put it in a bowl or something fancy or pretty and that's kind of like what it looks like on the cross section so and that's basically what we do for my grandmother because you can't really buy for her she's been around a while she's got everything she needs so i make her stuff for christmas so that's it i got a lasagna in the oven i'm trying a white sauce red sauce lasagna uh, if it turns out great, I'll tell you how I made it. If it turns out bad, I'll edit this out. But the wife and I are watching uh, movies. The kids are playing with uh, their cousins who are over. So we're just kind of hanging out, waiting for our Christmas Eve party tonight. So, enjoy. So this is the lasagna that I made. Uh, it's got a lot of cheese on it. It's got very little noodles. Um, the bottom layer is going to be curry. Um curry turkey and alfredo sauce then there's the ricotta and cheese mixture noodles and then i did a red sauce with um garlic and onion and um salami and then a layer of a little bit cheese the noodles and then i covered it with some more of the chicken curry and alfredo sauce and then cheese so very little carbs high in protein so it's pretty good we tried it so that's what i made for dinner tonight so we are headed to my family get together for New Year's Eve. We get together and eat. We celebrate my uncle's birthday because it's both their birthday today. Uh, and then we unwrap gifts from my grandmother and the rest of the family. Um, but we're headed there to do that. That's what I made the lasagna for. I got to get my grandmother's candy. Got all schwankied up, you know. What do you think? All schwankied up, huh? That's not that big deal. Anyways, um, it's actually a pajama party and I just don't. No, something you'll learn about me. I don't like to leave the house unless I'm dressed decent. I don't know why. Just me. Anyways, I'm going to that up there. Well, that's Christmas Eve. Santa's in his sleigh, making his rounds as we speak. Um, had a good time with family. Um, again, it's my uncle's birthday, so we celebrated that with them. And then... Um, basically open gifts from family so it's pretty cool my grandmother got me a uh um an led lantern and an led flashlight and some shirts and oh i'll show you this this other thing um she got Kristen some of those copper pots a frying pan and like a square broiler pan and then i think she's gonna get her um uh, like a soup pan or something. It comes with like a basket that you can deep fry in or something like that. I don't know. Um, kids may not like bandits. They always do. Jordan got an Xbox game and Xbox gift cards. And Allie got this huge art set. It's like 120 something pieces or something like that. It's in like this nice wooden box. Um, Nerf guns, you name it. Allie got like a giant unicorn from her cousin like this giant fluffy unicorn um if we were living in the world of despicable me it definitely classifies as it's so fluffy i'm gonna die so I, lots of stuff they always get way too much um so but santa claus is making his merry way as we speak so i'm gonna hit the sack so that he can come and visit us um and i'm sure the kids will have me up bright and early so Merry Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. Uh, whatever you celebrate, I hope it is fun. I hope it's the best it can be. Um, from my family to yours, we love you guys. Till tomorrow. Oh, real quick. My grandmother got me this. It's a little Yoda Lego clock. And it's like an alarm clock. And then if you press his head to snooze, the chest lights up. I saw that with me. She got uh, Jordan a Darth Vader. I tried to get him to trade me, but he wouldn't. Um, my uncle, one of my uncles got a Stormtrooper, and the other one got Lego Batman. But they're pretty nifty, so. Anyways, just thought I'd show that to you.